This is a training video on how to create a PDF document from any Windows application that normally sends output to a printer. Now there's various ways to do this. What we're going to use is a piece of software called Qt PDF Writer and it's available for free on the internet. Let's go to their website Qt PDF Dot com. Now, you could give these folks some money and get a fairly sophisticated product. However, what we're interested in is just simple PDF creation. And for that, we're going to use their freeware, the Cute PDF Writer. Free for personal, commercial use. And so let's download it. I'm going to save this to a temporary folder I have set up. And when it completes, we'll open the folder. And there's the install program. Let's double click on it. Say run. And here's the setup window. So We'll say next and accept the license agreement and finally install the program. When it completes, it will automatically open up an HTML document that it has downloaded in your default browser. This will further explain what the cute PDF writer is all about and how you use it. I'm going to go ahead and there's there's the HTML page but I'm going to go ahead and just show you what to do. Let's go back to the original Word document I had up. Here it is. Normally we would print this we would save it as a dot doc but of course our objective here is to create a PDF document and so we would go just like we were going to print the document and here's my default Windows printer but when you hit the down arrow now on your PC after you install Cute PDF Writer, you're going to see a new printer, the Cute PDF Writer. Now this is not a physical printer, it's a virtual printer. Instead of taking output from the Word program and sending it to a printer, it will convert that output to a .pdf file. So I'll select Cute PDF Writer say OK. Next it wants to know where to place the file. I'm going to go ahead and use the same place we downloaded the setup program. Note that it will be a .pdf file and the name defaulted to the first uh, line of text it found in the document and that name's just fine for me. So we'll say save. Let's go back to our folder and here is the document. You notice a small 6 kilobyte Adobe Acrobat document and if we double click it it will open in Adobe Reader also a free program available from Adobe. That's all there is to it. The cute PDF writer will appear just like a normal printer any Windows program that allows you to print you can now select instead of a physical printer the cute PDF writer and produce a PDF document for that output.